Hi friends, so welcome to this video on packet tracer activity configuring named standard ACLs. In this packet tracer activity, we are going to configure and apply a named standard ACLs and finally we will verify the ACL implementations. We will see the background. The senior network administrator has tasked you to create a standard named ACL to prevent access to a file server. All clients from one network and one specific workstation from a different network should be denied access. Right. We will come to part 1. Configure and apply a named standard ACL. That's step 1. Verify connectivity before the ACL is configured and applied. Right. All three workstations should be able to ping both the web server and file server. Yes, here we can see in this topology PC0, PC1 and PC2 should be able to uh, ping to these two servers, web server and file server. First, we will check the connectivity. Uh, before that, we will see the IP address of this web server. Yes, here it is. Now we will go to PC2. We are going to ping to this server. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will go to PC0 and we will ping to a web server. Yes, it's successful. And we will go to PC1 also. Ping. Yes, it's successful. Now we are going to uh, ping to uh, this file server. We will get the IP address of file server. Here it is. Or we will go to file server. Desktops, command prompt. He will check the IP address. Yes. Now we will go to each PC. First we will go to PC2. And we will ping to file server. We are waiting for the replay. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will come to PC0. And here is the file server IP address. Yes, we are getting the replay. And finally, we'll come to PC1. File server IP address. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Configure a named standard ACL. Configure the following named ACL on R1. Right, here we can see IP access list, then we are going to specify standard and we are going to specify ACL name. Yes, here we can see that. Then we are going to give a permit host, we are going to give a particular host IP address and we are going to deny other networks, uh, deny uh, any. Yes, that means if we see this uh, topology, here we can see uh, the IP address uh, 20.4 will come to PC1 and we'll see the IP address. Yes, it's 20.4. So this PC is allowed to communicate file server, but all other uh, devices uh, are denied. They given a note here for scoring purposes, the ACL name is case sensitive. Right, uh, according to the packet tracer, they given file underscore server underscore restrictions. So it is case sensitive. Accordingly, we have to specify the access list name. Keep in mind, this is only for uh, scoring uh, uh, in this packet tracer activity. Now we will configure uh, this named standard ACL on R1. Coming to the uh, router R1. Right. Uh, before that, we will copy this uh, standard ACL name so that we can uh, score the marks. 
yes enable we'll go to configure terminal here we are going to give ip access list and here we can see extended and standard now we are going to name the standard acl so we have to give standard and we have to specify here we can see access list name right so here i am going to paste it yes now we can see uh, we are in a specific configuration mode here we are going to give a permit host and we are going to permit only one host that is 192.168.20.4 and we are going to uh, deny uh, others so deny any now we will come to uh, step 3 apply the acl outbound on the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and we have to specify uh, this command then save the configuration we will verify uh, this interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 obviously it will be uh, the interface which is going to this file server uh, here we can see that you will see this interface yes this is fast ethernet 0 slash 1 now we will come to r1 mm, right we will go to that particular interface uh, that is uh, interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and here we are going to give ip access group and we have to specify the name yes then outbound now we are going to save the configuration copy running to startup yes now we will come to uh, part 2 verify the ACL implementation step 1 verify the ACL configuration and application to the interface use the show access list command to verify the ACL configuration use the show running config or show IP interface faster than 0 slash 1 command to verify that the ACL is applied correctly to the interface we will come to R1 here we are going to give show access list yes here we can see that now i am going to give show running config we can verify that yes here it is also we can go to that interface so show we have to give ip interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 we can see yes outgoing access list is then we can see the access acl name inbound access list is not set finally we are coming to step 2 verify that the acl is working properly all three workstations should be able to ping the web server but only pc1 should be able to ping the file server yes so we will verify that now first of all we will get the ip address of web server yes here it is now we will come to each uh, entity devices all right here itself we can see that yes okay we are getting the replay now okay from here itself we will ping to uh, file server also we can see destination host and reachable only PC one can communicate to file server. Yes. Now we will go to PC zero. We'll ping to file server first. Sorry, this is web server. We are getting the replay. Now we will ping to file server. We can see destination host unreachable. And finally, we will come to PC one will uh, ping to web server first we are getting the replay then we will ping to the file server yes here it is yes we are getting the replay so here only pc1 is allowed to communicate to the file server well uh, that's all in this packet tracer activity configuring a uh, named standard acls Friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. 
Also, if you like my videos, give a thumb. Also, don't forget to subscribe the channel to get the new video info into your Gmail. Thank you.